His Excellency, Mr. Cyril Edward Charles, Acting Governor General of St. Lucia. Good morning. His Excellency, Mr. Cyril Errol Melchides Charles, Acting Governor General of St. Lucia, Mr. Ricky Jabatis, Director of International Trade, Ministry of External Affairs, International <laughs> Trade, Civil Aviation and Diaspora Affairs, Incoming Ambassadors Designate to St. Lucia, Staff of the Ministry of External Affairs, Staff of Government House, Members of the Media, Ladies and gentlemen, buenos dias, bienvenidos. Saba al Qaid, Maharban, good morning, welcome. Kalimera, Kalosodis Bisma, Jo Roosevelt, Uzboslam. Your Excellencies, a pleasant good morning. I'm Shanika Plama Antoine, officer in charge, protocol and consular division, Ministry of External Affairs, International Trade. Civil Aviation and Diaspora Affairs of St. Lucia, and I will be your mistress of ceremony this morning. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the third installment of the presentation of credential ceremony for 2024. Your Excellency, I now call His Excellency, Dr. Sheriff Rida Ahmed Shihata, Ambassador Designate of the Republic of Egypt to St. Lucia to present his credentials. Thank you. Excellency, you can allow me to, good morning, allow me to convey the warm regards of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, President of Egypt, and it is with great honor that I present to Your Excellency my letters of credence, nominating me as ambassador to your beautiful country. Thank you, I am delighted to receive it. Delighted to be laid before His Majesty. And your Thank you, Excellency. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Your Excellency. His Excellency, Mr. Ithimios Ithimaidis, Ambassador Designate of the Hellenic Republic to St. Lucia, to present his credentials. Your Excellency, it is an honor to present to you my letters of credence and the best wishes of the President of the Hellenic Republic, Katerina Sekelarapoulou, along with the letters of recall of my predecessor. It's my honor to be Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Hellenic Republic to St. Lucia. Well, I am pleased to receive it. Uh, it would be laid in due course before His Majesty King Charles III. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Excellency. <clears throat> His Excellency, Mr. Ballads Altila Heinz, Ambassador Designate of the Republic of Hungary to St. Lucia, to present his credentials. Your Excellency, I have the honor to present my credentials designating me as Ambassador of Hungary to St. Lucia for the first time in the history of our bilateral relations, which is a great honor for us, for the people of Hungary as well. well thank you very much. Uh, welcome to St. Lucia. Thank you. Rest assured that it will be released um, before His Majesty the King. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Excellency. His Excellency, Mr. Adel Adgad, Ambassador Designate of the State of Kuwait to St. Lucia, to present his credentials. Your Excellency, it's an honor for me to present my credential as Ambassador of the State of Kuwait to St. Lucia. Please accept it. Well, I am delighted to receive it. It will be laid in due course before His Majesty the King. Thank you, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. 
His Excellency Mr. Cornelius Hesbash, Ambassador Designate of the Kingdom of the Netherlands to St. Lucia to present his credentials. Good morning, Your Excellency. It is my honor to present my letters of credence and my letters, the letters of recall of my predecessor. I would like to convey uh, personal greetings from King Willem Alexander to King Charles III and best wishes for your country and your citizens. Well, thank you very much. I'm pleased to receive it. It will be laid before the King. Thank you, Your Excellency. And last but not least, His Excellency, Mr. Abdullah Mohammed Al Sahani, Ambassador Designate of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to St. Lucia, to present his credentials. Your Excellency, allow me to convey the greetings and regards of the Custodian of the Holy Ones, King Salman bin Abdelaziz, and Prime Minister Crown Prince, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and allow me, Your Excellency, to present my credential as Ambassador of Saudi Arabia to St. Lucia. Thank you, I am pleased to receive it on behalf of um, His Majesty the King. It will be laid before him in due course. Okay. <coughs> Thank you, Your Excellency. I now invite His Excellency, Mr. Cyril Errol Melchidish Charles, Acting Governor General of St. Lucia, to deliver his remarks. Your Excellencies, I am honored to welcome you to my small island and to accept the letters of credence by which your respective heads of state accredit you, ambassadors, to St. Lucia, the Kingdom of the Netherlands, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Republics of Greece and Hungary, the Arab Republic of Egypt, and the sovereign state of Kuwait. These will be laid in due course before His Majesty King Charles III. Excellencies, as early as 1979, 45 years ago, we became an independent nation and immediately our ambassadors admitted into the various international fora, especially United Nations, whether the General Assembly or in the corridors of power, have been championing the cause of world peace until our voices, along with other like-minded nations, ring as one transformed into the loudest echo. We are a small nation, but we have cemented many firm and lasting relationships with nations large and small in support of concepts that promote humanity and ultimately the survival of mankind. Perceptions we most firmly believe in, of which the quest for world peace remains the common thread that embraces our ideals. However, since establishing diplomatic relations some years ago, our countries have had varying degrees of engagement. By way of example, despite the Kingdom of Netherlands having links in our region since the 17th century, we have had little interaction except at the multilateral level. We also note that despite establishing diplomatic relations with Greece in 1980, we have not broadened ties, although tourism contribute substantially to our economies, giving rise to shared interests in the sector. Egypt in 2010 established diplomatic relations with us. 
But the relationship, though cordial, has remained quiet. In recent times, however, there have been entreaties made as a result of our association with the, Euro with the European Union <clears throat> to deepen ties with Hungary. And presently, we were anxious to conclude that before the end of September the bilateral agreement on education renewed biennially and due for signing before this month end. Our ties with the Middle East are strengthening and it is essential that we, be, that we welcome efforts to pursue a deepening relations, whether multilaterally or bilaterally. In recent years, St. Lucia has been strengthening trade links with the Middle East and has successfully negotiated various investment and financing opportunities to assist in our infrastructural development. We wish to place on record our sincere gratitude to the government of Kuwait for their timely interventions in this regard. Though the Kuwaiti Fund, or through the Kuwaiti Fund for Arab Economic Development. And most recently, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, through the aegis of Saudi Fund for Development, for providing us with much needed development financing to complete this St. Jude Hospital. You will also appreciate our small size makes it difficult to be heard in international arenas where decisions that affect small states are made, sometimes with catastrophic consequences. And the more voices we can solicit to join with ours, the stronger we become unified by members. allowing greater confidence in the realization of global peace and ultimately prosperity. While St. Lucia has had a long association with Western Europe as a trading partner promoting the philosophy of friendship and through trade, we have not made significant incursions into Eastern Europe and this for us remains one of our new horizons to explore particularly in the fields of tourism, agriculture, cultural industries and sports. Your Excellencies, there are many areas where my small country can benefit through cooperation and knowledge sharing, sustainable agriculture, tourism development, renewable energy technologies, cultural industries, tertiary education, and bilateral trade investments. We acknowledge the essential nature of trade to the growth and stability of nations, and our officials look forward to discussions on improving existing arrangements in trade and services and also investments as we explore new market opportunities through increased promotional efforts. As the world seems to be approaching an irreversible curve in the ability of industrial nations and more developed countries to save the planet from the scourge of climate change, more than ever, we must rely on friendly and like-minded nations to support our efforts in coercing industrial giants to lower their carbon emissions to tolerable levels, if only to allow us to survive. Your Excellencies, before I close, permit me to congratulate Hungary for contributing 13 Nobel laureates to the world of to the world stock 
of recognized intellectuals. Notwithstanding our size, we are proud of our own two laureates in the persons of Sir Arthur Lewis for economics and Sir Derek Walcott for literature. May your country continue to experience this established high level of excellence and to perform the collective genius in, into instruments for, for propagation of peace in the region and the world. Finally, Your Excellencies, I wish all of you a rewarding tour of duty. Please convey to your respective heads of state my very best wishes and that of the government and people of St. Lucia for continued harmony and prosperity. Thank you. Please permit me to acknowledge the departure of the Acting Governor General of St. Lucia. I now invite Ms. Anne-Marie Gregg, Private Secretary to the Acting Governor General, to present tokens to the ambassadors.